Um, we've got, we'll start with Gavin at the front here. <clears throat> Questions, not statements. We haven't got much time. Thank you. Oh, I want to throw back to Tom a question he once asked me, but I'd like him to answer it. Um, Tom, once we, we had a small discussion, you said the very distinctive thing about the church was that, as you quite just said, it really does believe in good and evil. It, it's nothing if it doesn't have a metaphysical vision. Um, most of the people here, I think, would, would sign up to that metaphysics. One of the difficulties that we have is persuading a highly secularized society that our metaphysical vision isn't uh, something at the level of, of fairy, Victorian fairy tales. Um, as someone who straddles both worlds, do you have any advice for us in the way in which we can reacquaint our society with the seriousness of, the, of, of what is almost a dualistic metaphysical narrative in order, in, in order to, to catch their imagination sufficiently for us to be able to tell the Christian story with effect? Well, I, I think the key is for people in the West to be culturally humble and to recognise that their values are not universal, as I said. So another one would, would obviously be human rights. Because the West has been so hegemonic for so long, it's been in a position to assume that its concept of human rights is somehow universal. They don't need to think about it. Of course human rights exist. But what the rise of China and of other... Um, civilizational powers is doing is to remind us that um, the concept of human rights is one that has emerged in a very specific cultural matrix which is a Christian one and that therefore if you want to believe in human rights you have to believe it takes a leap of faith to believe that there are things called human rights just as much as it takes a leap of faith to believe that the Lord Jesus Christ raised from the dead <laughs> They're both beliefs. And the fact that um, you know, most people in the West sign up to the fact that human rights exist and that they're important and that um, they should determine, say, you know, national policy, public policy, um, actually, it's, it's, it's as rooted in, in theology and, and, and myth and metaphysics as, as all the teachings of Christianity. And I think that... Once that is, once people are reminded of that, I think it becomes impossible not to feel a kind of greater sense of, of, of where, you know, what Christianity is about. Because, you know, if you believe, you know, if you believe in human rights, why not believe that, that Jesus rose from the dead? You might as well hang for a, you know, a sheep as a lamb. Um, I think that it, it reminding people that, 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 that the core beliefs that are fundal, fundamental to how people morally define themselves is rooted in faith reopens the possibility for secularists to recognize that they are not somehow they have not kind of emancipated themselves from the need for faith they they continue to illustrate it and i think that kind of contemplating that then reopens the possibility to think, well, where might this practice of, 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 of believing in fantastical things lead? But I think one of the things that the churches need to do is to kind of absolutely embrace this, rather than being slightly embarrassed about it and only talking about the kind of things that you'd hear on a Liberal Democrat Party political broadcast, <laughs> which is a kind of, you know, thought for the day thing. I mean, I, I think that thought for the day and, um, you know, the... Uh, the kind of religious studies GCSE where you yeah. compare what Buddhists and Muslims think about smoking, that kind of stuff. I think it's absolutely destructive because it just kind of makes everything a mush. I think that the churches have to lay claim to everything that is kind of most, that is weirdest, most countercultural, most peculiar, you know, don't kind of duck all the stuff about angels and things. I mean, major on that because 